Well, here we are, Eddie Gemmel, down here for something completely different. Usually we are Fitbit shorts, but as you probably see behind me there, we've got rugby shorts for a wee change. It's a special day, it's a charity match. It's a neonatal clinic, I think, in Crosshouse Hospital, and the money that's been gathered by everybody here at this event will go towards that. And the two teams that are playing, the NHS All Blacks and the Scottish Prison Service team. Really interesting. Just hope I'll be made sure I don't get any, um, what do you call them again? Convictions coming up. And it's Blair Skipper to take the kick off for the Scottish Prison Service. And he kicks it high up into the air and it's John Young who's just about to receive it and John Young receives it and makes an amazing run outside the 22 and his tackle just shot. What happened now is the rock has been formed and the scrum half is going to pass the ball to number 7 Craig Maxwell. And then takes it up and creates some more space for the NHS side to give the kicker, David Courtney, a clear kick. It's a line out to the Scottish Prison Service which goes up through straight so the referee's going to blow up here for a scrum. <coughs> so the scrum is set, the referee's speaking to both sides make sure everything's happy. And the scrum set and the ball will get put in just a second by Robbie McVeigh. And the ball's put in, it was a great hook by Dougal McClarty. But the Scottish Prison Service, what big players they must have, what a great push from them. But the ball came back on the Hay and Chase side and it's going to be kicked away here, but straight back out into touch and another line out for him here. The Scottish Prison Service player skipper playing at 9 there to Russian Finlander who juggles the ball and knocks it on. It's a great pick up by Craig Maxwell who goes on another great run there, gets tackled and there's a clearance from the rock, Robin Rayfick picks up and makes a good dart. He's a through one tackle, through two tackles. He's holding off the third tackler, but he's just tackled and he's getting held up. But here comes the players to support him to try and clear out the rock to get the ball back on the NHS side. And there's a pass by Specs to Stuart Docte who gets tackled there. And the ball has been created again and there's space again for the NHS side. And here goes Robin Bivet, passes to David Courtney who passes to Andrew Gold. And look at that run, it's now to John Young. He's taking up the defender and there goes Fraser Collins. He's free and he scores a try for the NHS side. What a great work try from the team. come here to the Scottish Prison Service and that's Craig Williams putting the ball in. It's going to be picked up here by Alan Nugget who then takes on a tackle, gets the ball back out, Blair Skipper's on the ball, passes to Russian, Russian passes to Neil McMillan and it's back to Russian who takes on the team, he beats one defender, passes it to Nathan Murray who takes it into the contact and the rock will be formed here and the ball should get passed out easily. And there's a pass by Craig Williams and it's back in, there's another tackle there. Good fighting here from the Scottish Prison Service trying to go over the try line. They're inside the 22 just now, but they're fighting to try and go over. And Craig Owen picks up the ball, snipes around the corner, tackled by Connor Mackey. And Paul Fitzsimmons helps him in there. And this has been held up, so this is what you call a mall now. It's where the ball is, the ball's held up, and the team going forward, they can't get the ball back and recycled. It will be a turnover. We'll see what the referee's decision is going to be here. But the SPS side, they're trying their hardest, and there's the whistle there, and it's been held up. It's now the NHS put in at the score. And it's a line out to the NHS side. Good catch for Craig Maxwell. Robin McVeigh passes the ball to Courtney. And there's Robin Markin making, making a good dart and run there. Tackle there by Nathan Welsh. Robin Mackey passes the ball out again to David Courtney, to John Young, to Fraser Hart, eh, Corrance. And Corrance kicks the ball, but he kicks it out in the full there. And it's a line out again to the SPS side. And it's up high there. It's out to Craig Williams, to Blair Skipper, taps it on to Neil McMullen. Neil McMullen passes the ball out wide to Nathan Murray, who's given space to run. This man is dangerous when he gets to run. Oh, it beats one tackle, tackled by the second half tackle. And the NHS are attacking here, it's to Connor Mackey who takes a great run, it's a great tackle, short of the try line. Picked up by Robbie, passed out to Robbie Mackey, his brother. And uh, Robbie gets the ball again, look at that present presentation. Ball's passed out again, the SPS side are throwing their bodies on the line here, tackling like Kaminiaks. And that's a great steal by Alan Nugget, and it's a penalty to the SPS side. And they're trying to recycle the ball here, the recycle to Craig Williams to Blair Skipper, Blair Skipper to Ian Allen, who takes it in, takes a thump in two tackles there, and the ball's out here, it's Nathan Welsh, on to Neil McMillan, who kicks it on, Blair Skipper's chasing him, Blair Skipper receives and scores in the corner for the SPS. 
and a line out to the NHS side that's dropped down. Pablo gets back on the ball. That's a great clearance at the ruck. The ball's presented there to Robbie McVeigh, who passes the ball out to David Courtney, who passes to Robbie Markey, who makes a great run, but he's just tackled there by three players. And it's down, and it's a clearance ruck. Here comes the switch play now. It's Robbie. He picks up his snipes. He passes to myself, Stuart Doherty. He passes through one tackle, holds off the nine, and scores. It's another try for the NHS side. Here comes the kick, and Fraser Collins just misses the kick, unfortunately. That's a quick take by the Scottish Prison Service there. Russian Finlander takes up the ball. This man's dangerous on the ball. He's one defender. There's two people. He's just beat, beat. He's beaten the fog. And he's, be he's in the big man from our friend. Russian Finlander scores a great try. He's hard to stop when this man gets moving. And there's Blair Skipper taking the kick, but he misses. Uh, the Scottish Prison side here are on the attack. Stuart Doctor tried to go and get the ball, and he's now trying to do a counter attack. The ball's kicked out. Callum McCray picks up. Callum McCray makes a great run. Unfortunately, passes the ball and it's intercepted by David Courtney, who beats one defender into space. Goes David Courtney, there's a support runner, Robbie Mackey on his shoulder, and he passes inside, and Robbie Mackey scores a great try for the NHS side. And here comes the kick by Fraser Corrins. Fraser Corrins misses the kick there. Here comes Fraser Corrins to kick off for the NHS side. It's a high up into the air. Here it comes down, Jamie Dolan collects the ball, passes out to Blair Skipper. He takes a wee side step, he beats a defender, and he passes on there. Nathan Welsh. Passes on again, and it's Neil McMullen. He's away, look at him go. It's passed on again. There's Blair Skipper in support, and he's away. And the ball's still in play here. Craig Williams kicks it out, and it's away up. There's a line out there from the Scottish Prince, and there goes Craig Williams. He darts back down the blind side, and he's through one defender, two defenders, and a third defender. And Craig Williams scores in the corner for the Scottish Prison Service. There's a corner with the kick here, he kicks it off, but it goes out in the full. Kind of quick with that by Robbie Mackey. Robbie Mackey passes it out here to Robbie Mackey. Robbie Mackey takes it in and he's tackled there by Ian Allen. And here comes the ball, the other side to trying to recycle it. It's recycled. Robbie Mackey goes on a run, he goes a little bit of run around the corner. He can pitch through one tackle, but can't get through Craig Hobson. And he recycles the ball as well. And it's picked up there by Robbie Mackey, Connor Mackey, sorry. And he's tackled as well, short of the trial. And here comes Fraser. Fraser passes to John Calder, the oldest man of the team here. It takes two people to stop him though. And it's picked up by Alexander Hart, who fends off one defender, and over he goes for the try. Another try for the NHS side by Alexander Hart. And here goes Fraser Collins with a kick, and he misses it. And here's an attack here from the Scottish Prison side. Craig Hobson is tackled there. Craig Williams has got a recycle ball past there, and also known as Boozy. And here he gets tackled there, and it's passed out again for Craig Williams. Blair Skipper makes a pass to Jamie Dillon, who passes out to Neil McMullen. Who goes on a little maze run, he beats one defender. Here comes he's gonna kick on the fullback, but the fullback tackles him there and Robin maybe in support. It's recycled again. Here goes Craig Williams, who goes around one defender. And here he goes, he steps back inside, and here's Fraser Collins. He picks him up. What a tackle with Fraser Collins there. It's really important in this tackle here. They picks him up and he puts the player down. If not, it could be a yellow card. But that was a great tackle and a great example of safety in the game of rugby there. And it's ran out there by Robbie McVeigh. And here comes Dougal McClarty. Look at the shine on that head. <laughs> there was Craig Williams puts it the scrum. But look at that shunt from the NHS side. It's a turnover. Robbie Mackey five passes the ball out to Andrew Gold. Who taps it on to John Young. Who bounces off Blair Skipper. The Blair Skipper's coming in for a second bite of the cherry. And he makes a tackle this time. And there's it skin slowed down there by the SPS side. Illegally the referee's put his hands up for advantage for the... NHS side, here comes Robbie McVeigh, passes the ball out to Robbie Mackey, who passes to Fraser Corrins, who then goes to pass, oh he's just passed it behind Graham Quinn, who was surely in for a try there, but the refs pulled it back for the penalty, and here goes Fraser Corrins to kick for the three points, and over it goes, it takes a score further to 23-17 to the NHS side. Back here for the NHS side, Robbie McVeigh passes the ball in, and it's protected there from his number 8 Craig Maxwell, it's passed out to Andrew Gold, there's a clearance kick, and it's chased after by Specs here, and it's bounced, Craig Hobson's on the ball and he gets tackled there and look at the support here from the NHS side Robbie Mackey's trying to get that ball back and it's a penalty because he was holding it on the deck there it's a penalty to the NHS side let's see what they decide to do from this penalty are they going to kick to the post? no, they take a quick tap and it's Robbie McVeigh there on the dart and run tackled by Blair Skipper and they're all over to the cycle ball again but the refs decided there something was wrong and Fraser Connors takes a penalty again and he gets a penalty 
Craig Hobson passes to Russian Finland and in the middle of the park here and Russian Finland was on the ball, what a little step there and tackled there by Alexander S. Joe Grace, PC pod, it's cleared and served by Robin McVeigh and it's picked up by Blair Skipper who loses the ball in the contact and Neil McMullen blasts it out into touch there and it's a quick tap penalty taken by the SPS side, Blair Skipper on the ball, passes it out wide, Neil McMullen passes it around just behind Russian, here comes Fraser Collins, only we could have picked it up, he had a free run into the try line but he knocks it on at his feet and Graham there goes back and chases the ball thinking that the ball was still in play and it's a scrum down here to the NSS side put in by Robin McVeigh uh, and he's going to get this ball back here at the back of the base of the scrum he passes out to Andrew Galt who does a dummy scissors with John Young passes to Fraser Corrance who takes on the defender passes to Specs. Specs got a bit of free room here and look at the man go and he scores for the NSS side boy oh, he thinks he can get under the post but unfortunately he's just tackled short there and that's another score there for the NSS side and I think somebody's gave up the fight. Oh wait a minute, he's thumbs up there for me, Neil McMullen there. And there's the kick. And it was converted there by Fraser Corrance. Okay, we've been fortunate enough to pull some guys out, out from the dressing room with the beer and everything else. Give us a wee quick summary of how you felt the game went. Um, I thought the game was uh, very, 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 very I don't know, well contested. <laughs> very well contested. Uh, that's yeah. me without a beer. Um, I just think the NHS team had a, uh, a lot of pressure throughout the match. Uh, I thought our forward play today was extremely well. We dominated the, the pack uh, and our backs were just exceptional today. I think it's an all-round team performance and I think the boys should really be pleased for themselves and the way they performed. Yeah. I feel, I feel the game went well. Um, we expected a tough game, uh, especially uh, from the prison service and some of the Irvine players that came in to help out the prison service today. Um, especially with the Irvine boys coming in, I know a lot of the boys and, and they are really good players. They're, they're quick off the line uh, and they're, they're good runners with the ball as well. So I think we handled that quite well. Eight yeah. times today. Yeah, same. I think uh, the SPS uh, put up a lot of pressure for us. They didn't make it easy, but the boys kept it together. They kept kept putting the pressure, and eventually it paid off, um, and we got the got the result we wanted. Um, SPS were great, but uh, it's good to get the win. Here we are, rugby shorts. The end of the the very first time we've ever done a rugby match. You has been terrific. Guide me along with some of the the rules of the game, which I'm completely lost with sometimes but you mentioned the line outs but in some scrums how do you think the whole game went Ewan? I think it went really well like I said in the first half and both teams again in the second half played, had a good performance and it was like again mixed play and I, I think I've seen quite a few scrums So in summary how do you think the whole game went? Really well it was just overall really good to watch so. Good game? Yeah Okay, this is Eddie Gamble just summarising and finishing off from the Mares here in the wonderful Irvine. You can see over in the background there the box side, the famous box side over there as well. I've found it really interesting because I never thought rugby would be so interesting because I'm a, a football man. But it's been terrific to watch, it's been terrific to see some of the, the tackles. I mean, some of the tackles in comparison to football are wild to say the least. But anyway, here we are, Mares. Thank you very much for asking us along and inviting us along to do this game. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And from Eddie Gamble, the rugby shorts. See you next time.